A West Side teen knows all about speed. And now the racing world is starting to get to know him. All this despite not being old enough to drive himself uh -oh. to the races. Here's Brad Underwood. <laughs> At speeds over 110 miles per hour, Saban Bybin is making a name for himself on dirt tracks around the Midwest. He just said he was going to be a race car driver when he was little. We didn't go to, we didn't take him to a track or anything. He, he was going to be Jeff Corden. For Dad Maury, watching his son turn laps is one thing. But this summer at the Lawrenceburg Speedway, Bybin finished sixth in points, earning him Rookie of the Year. What's neat about it is he can do it. And now the other drivers trust him, and we have the equipment now that he can compete with them. Bybin's racing career, like many drivers, began on the go-kart track, then midgets, wing sprint cars, and now Saban drives a 410 non-wing. Oh yeah, he's 15 years old. You're out there going 110, but you can't, you can't drive out here on, on Ebenezer. No, not yet. This weekend, he's leveling up. Bybin is hoping to qualify for the final race of the year for the USAC Series Fall National Championship at Lawrenceburg Speedway against the best sprint car drivers in the country. Very few times I step back and get to realize just what I'm doing and how lucky I am to be able to do that. But most of the time it's just kind of looking into the future and, you know, keep on working hard to get to where I want. Here's the thing. Bybin is no dummy. A 4.0 GPA, National Honor Society, and he'll graduate high school a year and a half early, giving him, hopefully, more time to race. The goal is just to make a living racing, and wherever cars I'm dealt and way I go, it doesn't matter, but as long as I'm having fun and doing it, that's the goal. So as long as I can accomplish that, I'll be happy. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And the racing begins at 7 Saturday night. We'll let you know how he does.